What's up, guys? It's Elon Friends. We're back with another movie review. We're back with another video. This is my fifth time trying to film a video. Happy. <laughs> and Happy. it's failed. So this time we're doing that Zoom. And because, you know, quarantine and stuff. So we're trying to still get content out for you guys. And guess who we got? We got my boy Jerry hey, making his up? return yeah. from space. Stay at home order. This man was like, forget that. I'm going out in space. He ain't even yeah, staying on Earth. Earth man. Shoot. <laughs> like, shoot. He took the stay at home order to a whole nother level. I'm staying at space. Come on. And today yeah. we're reviewing the Netflix movie called Coding. Coding. And it's about uh a world where there's people that has superpowers, but not strong superpowers, but uh powers that can give them higher advantage. Than most people abilities. yeah abilities and the uh, world uh this country wants them to get banned from using their powers and it's about this uh one uh person trying to get, raise up money to save his mom's life because she's sick because of her powers and you want to give your opinion about the movie first well before i get to that i just want to let y'all know there's uh three big actors in this movie that you got probably already know from other places you got arrow um his name's steve amo you got sean i mean han from fast and the furious and you got firestorm from the tv show flash so i mean just you know they're brothers know. right yeah really yeah steven the male and the other person oh shoot him, him and han not the other white dude <laughs> <laughs> but yeah well, those two are brothers yeah so this is the thing, right? Um, I was excited when I saw all these three um, actors. I mean, I, I've been an Arrow fan as well. I've been watching the TV show, and I'm a fan of Fast and Furious Saga. So it was nice seeing them in a different movie as a different persona, different personality. But in my opinion, they messed it up. <laughs> oh. I think they're made for science fiction movies. Um I mean, as much as I love these actors to death, but I don't think they fit for the right plot or the right storyline. I mean, the story in general of the movie, it, it was very interesting, but at the same time, I was falling asleep. So I would not recommend it, but I would not hate on it. That's my opinion. <laughs> Dang. I mean, I liked it. I mean, yes, I paused it and walked away for like 30 minutes, like three times, but... <laughs> Overall, I, I really enjoy the movie. It's not a movie you're pretty much like, it's not a rememberable movie. I'll tell you that right now. It's not a movie you'll remember and be like, yo, this is the greatest movie of all time and stuff like that. But I like the concept of what they was doing, where it was people that had powers, but not too strong powers. And like how people was getting banned from using those. And I like the police force too, how they enforced it. It was kind of question their police brutality of the movie because <laughs> it was, yeah. they was allowed to kill anyone that had powers, which is kind of just. Yeah, that was weird. I, I like they just had that kind of authority. You have powers, you're allowed to just die. Like they had less yeah. rights than people that uh, didn't have powers, which was kind of weird. That was and weird. I like the acting in the movie. Uh, one, the one actress, I didn't really care for her. The one that could heal, she didn't oh, really. Yeah. She was just kind of stale to me. For a second, I was thinking about Mutu from uh, Pikachu when I, whenever she was acting. I was like, that's that's the Mutu of this movie. Yeah, but, but she uh, wasn't really. She was just stale. I didn't, uh, you didn't care for Stephen the Mills character, Arrow? Well, not really. I actually, I actually liked more the detective side of Han because, well, I don't know his real name. Let me look up. His real name is Soon Kane. Um, he was a really good, but the detective side of him and just kind of tied up with the personality he had from Fast and the Furious. He didn't do as a good job, but um, I like that more than the arrow because arrow i don't see him as a bad guy he was more like a head of a gang in this movie i didn't see him like that at all like i still see him as a good guy in a way and he just don't have the personality as a savage you know as a you know all rough and tough and killing my he seemed like he was kind of forcing to be a bad guy he was forcing himself yeah so it's 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 just it doesn't seem like him you can tell he that it doesn't show that that's him in this movie. So, I mean, I, I kind of, I mean, if he could have played the other role, 
of the guy who was uh, in the, the role of the guy who was trying to save the sick mom, I think that would be a good job, you know. But as far as he playing as a villain or as a bad guy in this movie, I, I, don't, I don't like it at all. I don't see him as fit for that per person. I mean, they're all good actors, but just not in this movie. It's like they they put everything opposite roles for all these actors. It's, it's just kind of throw me out. So you didn't care for the main character either? Uh, for him, no, he did a good job. I just don't know him from other movies. Uh, but at the same time, it's like this is not uh, a big box office movie that you expect to see. You know, this is just an average movie from Netflix. You, you, I mean, you could watch, you know, something you can just watch on the couch. It'll be really interesting to watch on the couch. But it's not something that I will pay to watch a movie ticket at the actual movie theaters. That's definitely not going to happen. Oh, yeah. We're, we're reviewing it like a different standard. If this was a movie theater movie, I don't know about. But Netflix movie is... Yeah. It's, yeah. I didn't really I care for it. it even made that much money. Let me see how much money it made. It made $150,000 on box office. I didn't yeah. really care for uh, Sung, uh, Kang's character, really, to like the second half after you... Uh, after you learn more about him, like the first half, he was just there. I didn't really yeah. care for him. Yeah. yeah, then the villains, they wasn't, the villains was kind of just there. Like the main bad guy, he wasn't really standing out. Like, I would like this to be a comic book though. Like I would like to see like more of a continuation. Yeah, I would like and to see it more expand, like, like more, this still got ideal. Yeah, this is like a story that you would want to see like more, more of the characters like, how did like more of the backstory of their each person's abilities and all that stuff? I yeah, would we, like to know that. At the very beginning, they kind of just throw you a three minute montage with a lot of exposition. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like superpowers, a band, all that. I'm like, well, you're throwing a lot at me right now. Let me, okay, okay. Me I, I got the idea. Yeah. I didn't like. I watched it twice actually. I had to watch the first couple minutes twice because I didn't know what the hell was going on. Yeah, because apparently people with superpowers, they can't get jobs. Yeah. For some odd reason, even though I'm like, it was like also it was kind of like a virus, I think. It was there was like a virus, psych, some something like that. Is the name of the virus? I think. Yeah, but the mom had a job. Yeah. So I don't know why everyone else with powers is taking odd jobs instead of just getting regular jobs. It was just I don't know. Kind of. Kind of weird. But uh, yeah. What would you rate it? What would you rate it? First of all. I rated it a 6.5 or a 7 out of 10. That's exactly what people rated it online. <laughs> yeah, that's um, what I'll give it. It's on the third spot on uh, Netflix right now, so apparently people want to watch it. Yeah, it's crazy. So I would you give it like a 6.5 out of 10. I mean, it's 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 not a movie I would pay for to watch in a movie theater. Definitely not. But yeah, it's but this is a unique movie. Yeah. I recommend it if you want to watch something a little different. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, if if you want a little bit more of uh, Han, if you want a little bit more from Arrow, because I know after Arrow TV show, it's like he disappeared after that. He took a break. But if you want a little bit more contact from them, that's the movie, you know. Just uh, don't expect them to have the same character as the other movies and TV shows that they made in the past. It's completely opposite. Yeah. Any last words before we peace out? Stay safe. I get home. <laughs> stay safe and I don't go home. outside. Jerry went out in space. He did not follow the stay at home order. He did not follow the stay on Earth order. I'm at the moon right now. <laughs> he, he took self quarantine to a whole another level. He's like, I'm yeah. not going to stay away from everybody. He even got a helmet on right now. I don't know how he's breathing. Oh, yeah. Let me, let me get, let give me a second. I'll pull it out. I'll pull it out. It's right. Right. Uh, I got it. I got it. I got it. Here it is. Bam. Bam. There you go. Got it. <laughs> Peace out, guys. Till the next uh, uh, movie review. Peace.